Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. My name is A.B. Westervelt. I'm a principal delivery lead at Energy Web, uh, and I work with our customers here to conceptualize, design, build, and deliver solutions that are based on Energy Web's green proofs. One of the products I've been involved with over the last year is called Green Proofs for Bitcoin. And in today's session, I'd like to share some more detail about what this product is, how it works, who it helps, and lastly, some information about a recent collaboration uh, that we've been working on and are th that we are extremely excited about. So let's jump in. Green Proofs for Bitcoin is a solution designed to bring transparency and more considerate consistent metrics to the discussion around Bitcoin mining's climate impact. Uh, it exists to spotlight the contributions of climate conscious miners to grid decarbonization and also to the growth of clean electricity markets. It also exists to help organizations with Bitcoin exposure, such as funds and payment processors, better align their activities with Bitcoin to their sustainability goals. We launched Green Proofs for Bitcoin about a year ago, following an 18-month development stage. And this development stage included talking to dozens of crypto market participants, such as miners, pools, exchanges, funds, climate NGOs, and then key electricity system stakeholders like utilities and regulators. To help you understand what Green Proofs for Bitcoin is and how it helps us address the goals I just discussed, we first need to talk about what the climate impact of Bitcoin mining is. The first thing you need to know about the climate impact of Bitcoin mining is that Bitcoin mining consumes a very large amount of electricity. Electricity generation typically has a climate impact. So any industry that uses electricity typically does as well. Bitcoin mining can use clean electricity like solar, wind, nuclear, and hydro, but the use of clean electricity varies greatly from miner to miner. And any miner that doesn't use 100% non-emitting electricity, which is the vast majority of them, will have an emissions footprint of some type. In other words, a negative climate impact. And the size of the Bitcoin industry, the sheer amount of electricity that's consumed for Bitcoin mining, means that this impact has the potential to be very large. However, Bitcoin mining is a very unique electricity consumer. And this means its climate impacts have the potential to be very unique as well. This is due to a couple of special attributes about mining. The first is that mining is relatively location agnostic. It can be carried out pretty much anywhere so long as a sufficient electricity supply is available in that location. The second characteristic of mining that makes it unique as an electricity consumer is that its electricity use is highly interruptible. This means mining can be started and stopped fairly easily and with a lot of flexibility relative to other large industrial electricity users. So think for example about Bitcoin mining versus the electricity needs of a large factory. The factory has to um, schedule its needs around the shifts of workers that are coming to work, its delivery schedule, uh, its commitments to its customers. Bitcoin mining relative to this is a very flexible electricity load. The last unique quality of Bitcoin mining is that power costs represent the bulk of operational expenditure for miners. And this makes mining super price sensitive uh, to electricity prices. And it means that miners are typically motivated to seek out the cheapest electricity that's available. And this is often renewable electricity. Renewable electricity generators aren't necessarily cheap to build, but they are typically cheaper than emitting generators to run because they don't require the purchase of fuel. Research is starting to support the idea that these last three qualities I discussed can help Bitcoin mining potentially have some positive climate impacts if done in specific ways. Because mining is nearly location agnostic, it can be cited close to renewables that don't have sufficient demand. We see this in the US, for example, in areas of Texas and Oklahoma. It can also be cited close to oil and gas facilities. Miners that are doing this capture methane emitted from oil and gas operations, and they burn it to create electricity, which is then used in mining. This can have a potentially positive impact because methane has a much, much higher warming potential than carbon dioxide. For example, over the course of 100 years, 
a ton of methane that's emitted into the atmosphere can have up to 30 times the warming potential of a ton of CO2. So mitigating methane emissions, even if it results in carbon emissions, can potentially have a very positive climate impact. Because mining is also such a flexible load, it can be ratcheted up and down so easily, it also has the potential to help balance the grid. This means reducing demand at times when the grid is stressed, such as extreme weather events, and adjusting its load at other times to support things like the frequency that the grid needs to run at to perform reliably. So we know that mining can have negative impacts and it can have potentially positive climate impacts. The real question is, what is Bitcoin mining's net impact? And the answer is that we simply don't yet know. Some miners claim to have a minimal climate impact due to where they source their electricity and how they operate, and some even claim to have a positive climate impact. But we don't yet have much transparency into individual miners' practices or data to back up these claims from miner to miner. And what's more, we also don't have any kind of shared yardstick to compare these claims to, any way to figure out what the net impact of a miner actually is. As many of you will know, current trends in Bitcoin, like ETF launches and historical price and volume highs, they mean that we really are at an inflection point with Bitcoin mining. Will industry growth happen in a climate positive way or will it happen in a climate negative way? And can climate conscious industry participants like funds, exchanges and others help tip it in the right direction? Greenproofs for Bitcoin was launched based on the belief that those players can help to tip Bitcoin mining in a climate positive direction and that we need four key ingredients to do it. First, we need agreement among industry participants on the types of activities and choices that would make a mining operation climate aligned. We need a shared industry definition of what this means. The second is that we need a way to measure the degree to which individual companies are meeting this definition in their operation. And the third is, you know, in order to grow markets for clean mining, investors should be able to easily identify climate aligned miners. And those miners should be able to capture return on investment on their clean mining practices. To meet those needs, Greenproofs for Bitcoin offers four things. The first is a shared framework for understanding the climate impact of individual mining operations. This is based on existing sustainability frameworks that we see used in other industries to measure scope to emissions. And we developed it drawing on Energy Web's expertise in the electricity sector, emissions accounting, and crypto. We also offer independent minor evaluation services, assessment of individual mining companies and a certification that we grant to companies in alignment with the sustainability framework that we've developed. And lastly, using Energy Web self-sovereign identity stack, we give certified miners the ability to share their sustainability credentials with other companies in a secure, trustworthy way, which provides a one-stop shop for market participants that are looking to do business with climate-aligned miners. The steps in the process are as follows. First, an independent framework and certification criteria are determined. Our current framework looks at miners' clean energy purchases, so purchases of solar, wind, hydro, and nuclear, where their operations are located and their participation in demand flexibility programs. In the future, we'd like to expand this framework to consider additional things, such as the methane emiss emissions mitigation techniques I just talked about. The second step is that a miner will apply for certification. The miner will provide data about her operations to an auditor, and Energy Web is currently serving in that role. However, there are a lot of opportunities to decentralize our approach to auditing mining companies by adding other trusted entities, such as climate nonprofits or potentially academic institutions. The auditor or auditors then review the certification application and they generate two sustainability scores. If these scores meet the threshold for certification, the miner is issued a set of self-sovereign credentials that she owns and controls. Those credentials can be shared at the miner's discretion to demonstrate her sustainability commitments to interested counterparties. The miner always has full discretion about what is and isn't shared about her operations. She can share granular data like mining locations, clean energy purchases and emissions factors, or just the simple fact of her certification.
We designed green proofs for Bitcoin to support two types of users, institutions and miners. Institutions include exchanges, investors, funds, financial service providers, payment processors, and other types of crypto users. And green proofs for Bitcoin provides a way for those parties to easily identify and validate green miners, facilitating the launch of new products and services that are geared towards sustainable, excuse me, sustainably mined Bitcoin. Green proofs for Bitcoin is not a direct to consumer product. I think this is important to mention. It does not tokenize green Bitcoin or offer any direct investment opportunities. However, it does support products like that by providing a piece of common infrastructure that they can use as they are brought to market. Now I'd like to share some details of one use case in this vein that we've been working on for about six months and that we are really, really excited about. So Energy Web has been collaborating with PayPal's blockchain research group alongside one of the certified miners in our program, DMG Blockchain, on a green mining initiative that incentivizes climate aligned Bitcoin mining. Our goals with this project are twofold. The first goal is to reward climate aligned miners with Bitcoin in a trust independent manner. And the second goal is to increase the likelihood of routing on chain transactions to climate aligned miners. These goals will be met via a solution that identifies miners using low emission energy sources, preferentially routes on-chain transactions to those miners, and rewards those miners using a one of n multi-sig script. Here is how it works. The first step is that climate-aligned miners are identified, for example, by providing their green proofs for Bitcoin certification credentials. The second step, once green miners are identified, is to obtain Bitcoin public keys from those miners, which will be used to distribute incentives. The keys are then aggregated from different green miners into a single one of N multi-sig address. And this address is used for distributing incentives to miners in the form of Bitcoin. Miners whose public keys form part of the one of N multi-sig address can claim these incentives. Step four, to preferentially route transactions to green miners, on-chain tran on transactions are broadcast with low transaction fees. An additional UTXO is attached to the on-chain transaction with some Bitcoins locked in a one of N multi-sig payout address as an incentive for green miners. Most miners will be disincentivized to process these transactions because of their low fees, but green miners who are eligible for the additional incentive can seek out these transactions. Step five. When a green miner receives a transaction in the mempool, they identify it as being a green transaction based on the multi-sig payout address. The miner then includes the transaction when assembling a block and includes an additional redeemed transaction within the same block to claim the additional UTXO. This additional transaction will have a recipient address belonging to the green miner. And as a result, the green miner collects the additional UTXO and in effect, this miner is then rewarded for using green hash power to mine the block. To support this initiative, we've been working to enhance green proofs for Bitcoin with a new set of features. And these include a scalable platform, uh, which we would use to register and onboard certified miners and their pools into the program, additional compliance features, such as know your business and sanctions checks, and lastly, an API for the sharing of public keys and other information related to running the program. We are planning on conducting minor testing in the coming months, and we're looking forward very much to supporting the Bitcoin industry with these additions. I invite everyone who's interested to learn more about this project to read PayPal's full paper uh, by scanning the QR code on the screen. Thank you all very much for joining me today. Uh, I appreciate you being with us to learn more about Green Proofs for Bitcoin. And if you'd like to discuss the product further or explore any potential collaboration opportunities, please do reach out. Thank you.